Welcome back. The news in details. Egypt stressed on Tuesday that the political comprehensive solution is the only way to regain Libya's peace and stability. Cairo urged the UN mission to Libya to get involved with the representatives of the Libyan people to crystallize the roadmap plan needed to get out of the current crises, as well as implementing all elements of October 2017 UN initiative. It hailed the Libyan Warring Party's humanitarian truce that was announced earlier on the occasion of Eid al-Adha, describing it as a step forward on the right, in the right direction to realize confidence-building measures. Egypt called on the Libyan parties to take a clear stance away from terrorist groups, especially those on UN sanctions lists. Cairo also called on the parties to refuse any foreign intervention in the country's affairs and denounce any violations to UN resolutions like smuggling weapons and facilitating terrorist transfer to Libya. Egypt reiterated on Tuesday its support for the new Sudanese government in its efforts to achieve the aspirations of the Sudanese people. This came in a statement issued by the Foreign Ministry at the end of the two-day talks between delegations from Sudan's Declaration of Freedom and Change Forces and the Revolutionary Front held in Cairo. Egypt hosted the meeting as part of Cairo's efforts to settle differences among Sudanese factions. In its statement, the ministry asserted that Egypt would continue its contacts with Sudanese factions and neighboring countries for achieving peace. According to the statement, participants in Cairo talks agreed to submit the outcomes of the meetings to leaders of the DFCF in Khartoum. Egypt hosted the talks with the aim of achieving peace in Sudan and to support the constitutional declaration which will be signed on August 17th. More than two and a half million pilgrims continue the rituals of Hajj, the world's largest annual gathering of Muslims. The faithful converged on Jamara to perform the stoning ritual from a three-story bridge. They will then return to Mecca to pray at the Grand Mosque at the end of Hajj. Early on Saturday, pilgrims gathered on Mount Arafat and then descended to Muzdalifa. Saudi Arabia has welcomed the guests of the merciful and provided them with all the services needed to perform the hedge ritual with ease, comfort, security and tranquility.